Okay, go. How do you deal with self-hate? I try to observe the hate, but it is so strong. Do I need to practice metta? And how do I do that if I hate myself? Thanks. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it actually... Yeah, it can't, certainly can't hurt to express love for yourself, but... It's problematic. Um, you know, sending love to yourself is like trying to shoot yourself. No, no, that works actually. You can shoot yourself, but um, it's like trying to see your your own eyes. You know, because you're doing the sending. I mean, people talk about it. It's certainly recommended by many teachers to wish for you, and everyone recommends it, but. The texts say it's just an example, and it doesn't really do that much. But sure, it's certainly something um, worth doing. I mean, the reason I hesitate about saying yes is that, you know, there's a potential for it to become sort of um, you know, egotistical, right? You know, the the whole idea of the self. It's already a problem. Self-hatred is is very much tied to ego. It's um, it's different from hatred of others, in the sense that it's uh, egotistical. You are you you ha we have expectations for ourselves, you know, and we feel guilty and we feel bad when we feel ashamed of ourselves. Shame, you know, this sense of, of improper shame. There's proper shame, which um, recognizes when you do bad things, but there's this improper sense of, this sort of obsession with uh, self-hatred. Um, I mean, regardless whether you should send or, or shouldn't send metta, it's not really the most important uh, solution to the problem. Obviously, insight meditation is the greatest solution to the problem. Uh, so part of it is actually correct. I mean, it's a correct observation when you do something bad to, to say that was a bad thing. Um, when you give rise to unwholesome mind states, it's good to say, you know, that was an unwholesome mindset. Of course, it's it's a bigger problem when you say, I'm ugly, or I'm fat, or I'm stupid. Even I'm stupid, because intelligence isn't... I mean, because none of these things, including intelligence, are essential. You know, being fat isn't, isn't evil, you know. Being ugly isn't evil. Um, being bald isn't evil. So that kind of self-hatred is, is, is worse. That's damaging. That's the kind of thing where that, that you really have to uh, put aside. But uh, knowing when you've done something wrong is important because there are other people on the other side who don't see when they do something wrong and have self-righteousness when anyone tries to criticize, criticize them. So an honest person... It's actually a sign of of desire to develop, to know that you have problems. The Buddha said, uh, if a fool knows that they are a fool, to that extent you can call them wise. right? But a fool who thinks they're wise, that's the real fool. So, th so there's definitely a, a benefit there to seeing the, the, your negative qualities. Certainly never see that, and that's why I hesitate because um, it's not it's not always the case that you should get rid of every aspect of this and think yours and all these teachings where you should think I am special and you know I am wonderful and I am perfect just the way I am. It's all a bunch of rubbish. It's certainly not Buddhist. You know, Buddhism, you're you're useless. <laughs> you're 
you know, yeah, I just told my meditator that I we had a long conversation, and at one point, I said, you know, a lot of this is just re just coming to the realization that you're useless. Or I didn't say it, it was there was some context, and I said, well, eventually you just realize that you're useless and 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 hopeless. Huh? Because it, that's really it. We're, we're actually going that far to give up this, this body and this mind. And we're using, my teacher said, the, the mind discards the mind. Jit ting jit. Mind throws out the mind. So So don't, don't discard that part of the teaching, you know. Don't don't just think, well, I, it's wrong if I criticize myself. That's not wrong. Again, wrong is the reaction to that. How do you react? And it's really just a cop out to feel guilty, to hate yourself. It's just the easy way out, you know. It's like the easy way out with anything. When a baby cries, the easy way out is to shake the baby, to yell at, the, you know, to throw the baby out the window. I mean. I, that's a horrible thing to say, but but the, these thoughts arise in the parent. They get so frustrated. They just they they start you know becoming going crazy as a result. I don't suppose parents ever get to the point where they want to strangle their kids, but they shake them. You know, parents want to shake their kids sometimes. Maybe not babies, but kids. You know, hit their kids. Of course. Hmm. Why am I getting these loud noises? Don't send me messages, please. Stefano, if you want to send a message, send it. Anyway, sorry. We're live here. There's a chat box you can use. Um, right, so uh, we take the easy way out. You, you hit... You fight, you yell, you scream, and that's all we're doing when we feel guilty, when we feel self-hatred, and so on. We're taking the we're we're, we're taking a we're copping out. Again, it comes back to this: how do you react to the situation? You realize that was wrong, and what is the reaction? Are you going to get angry or frustrated? These are useless. So the point is actually the. That hatred is wrong. The fact that it's directed to yourself is not an issue. You know, the the uh, the issue is uh, that you react angrily towards that. Which again, it just comes back down to any anger, any sort of anger. Of course, sending love helps. Um, doing good deeds can help because it can help with the guilt, right? This is what the Buddha said. Um, uh, morality, uh, he said specifically morality, morality makes you feel less guilty, so try not to do bad things. But um, doing good things makes you feel good about yourself as well. You know, if you do lots of good deeds, you'll feel better about yourself. you feel like, yeah, I'm a good person. So uh, that is another point, especially morality. You know, stop doing things that make you feel, make you hate yourself to some extent. But I think a lot more of it is just about hating things that that uh, you can't easily change. And so you should, you have to stop with the anger. And you have to accept not that aspect of yourself, but you have to accept that that's, you know, the reality of it. You have to accept it as reality. Because if you can't accept it, you're going to react negatively towards it. All of our bad qualities, they are bad, no, no question. I mean, there is some question, but quite often they're, they're really bad, you know, bad qualities. So, but um, reacting to them doesn't solve them. The answer is not in getting angry. Anyway, so hope